Do you have a robo vacuum and you keep getting an error that says the cleaning sensors need to be cleaned? And you clean every sensor you can find, but you continuously get the error. The device can't find its home base. It gets lost while it's vacuuming. Well, if you do, you've had the same problem that I've had for a while, and I finally figured out how to fix the problem. Now, I've got the Eufy X8 Robo Vacuum. I do recommend this product. Uh, this is not going to be a product review, though. If enough of you do want to see a product review on the Eufy X8, uh, just leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll, I'll do it if I get enough people that say they want it done. But for now, we'll cut to the chase and say I do recommend the Eufy X8. I do really like it. But this video is about how to clean the Eufy X8 so you don't get those errors anymore. First of all, one thing you should always be doing, of course, I'm sure you're, you're all doing this if you have it, is removing the dustbin and throwing out the, the daily dirt. I have a cat, so I have a ton of cat hair. I'll also take out the little air filter and tap that down to clear everything out. You also, of course, want to take off the, the lint brush thing. Clip, clip that, take that right off, take out this wheel. Got a bunch of hair, both human and cat, stuck around it, so you clean that off. Take a microfiber cloth, clean all in there. But those aren't the sensors. This video is about the sensors. So what you want to do is you want to take a microfiber cloth. You want to do the basics. This, is you, this you've probably done already. This I was doing. Take a microfiber cloth with some window cleaner. I'm gonna clean these sensors here. These are the contacts for the power. This isn't gonna help it from getting lost, but it'll just make sure that you always have a charge, which is kind of important. Then you wanna go around here and clean these sensors. Make sure those get all nice and clean. Now, at that point, you've cleaned all the sensors you can actually see. I was doing this and I was still getting that error. The machine was still getting lost. It was still not finding its way home and it was kind of a, a mini disaster. After a lot of research, I found the way to clear this. What you wanna do is under the bumper guard here, you wanna spray air in between the bumper guard and the vacuum itself. There's two ways you can do it. You can either use a product like this, simple canned air, and go underneath this bumper guard and just spray. Just using the little hose there or because this tends to be a little expensive. If you have an air compressor like I do, I got, I set up my air compressor, I got a little attachment, I use a little sports needle. So this is the same needle you would use to inflate a basketball or a football. And I do the same thing. I come around here, I spray right in these crevices. You wanna go on the side of the bumper guard here and you spray all the way down here. Again, if you don't have an air compressor, that's fine. You can use canned air. Use that, come on the sides. And you just wanna spray all in there. And that's pretty much what it's been that has solved that error for me. One other thing that you can clean is at the top, you can see there is the little camera in there. You can take a Q-tip put a little glass cleaner on it, and then just go right down that little hole. Hard to show on camera, but just give it a little little swirl just to clean that camera. I don't know how much that's an impact, but the air certainly is an impact. Just coming in here, spraying everywhere you can underneath the bumper guard. And that's how I solved the error and the machine getting lost. Let me know if this has helped you. If you found another way, another sensor that you can get to on this or another vacuum, leave a comment in the section below. I would love to learn and maybe I could show that too or you could help somebody out. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think.